Hi all, welcome back to Beanie's Hobbies. I messed the audio up on this one as well, because I'm a bit of a noob. In the background I had the radio playing, so yeah, can't really have the audio, because that'll be a copyright strike. Because I'm all new to this, then yeah, just, just bear with me. Anyway, in this, in this video, this is going to be part one, because after sitting here and editing it for a while, I realised the whole thing was over an hour long, so nobody's going to sit there for an hour and watch all of that. So, this is part one of the build. And then I've got part two, will follow along shortly once I've finished editing it. But yeah, I've had to speed certain portions of this up, because if not, you know, you're going to be sitting here quite some time. And you'll probably be asleep by now. Anyway, um, as you can see, first of all, we had to put the sticker on the front of the screen. Uh, just add a few drops of water, that helps the sticker move around. Yes, you'll get a few little bubbles underneath, but obviously once the water dries out, they will all sort of then just disappear, so there's nothing to worry about. So obviously you see me there just rubbing around the edges, pushing the bigger air bubbles out. And like I say, the small air bubbles will go after a few days once it obviously dries out. This actually kit, this kit is actually is, well, like I said before, it is well made. Um, there's a, I'll make a few errors because the instructions are tiny and quite complicated to read. I think I've cut most of them out. But yeah, you might spot the odd one or two where I've gone back and I'm just sort of standing there scratching my head thinking, okay, what have I got to do now? But anyway, yeah, sit back, enjoy, and I'll uh, come back and chat to you again shortly. Quick side note, yes the screwdrivers that come with it are pretty looking, but they are absolutely useless. They're not magnetised to one, so I did actually try, well I did successfully manage to magnetise one, but that about as much use as an Astro on a motorbike. So you, you, you'll see me in a minute, just give up with it completely and use my own set of screwdrivers. And I'd advise you guys to do the same thing, because all you're going to end up doing is just mashing the head up on all the screws. So yeah, a little bit, a little bit of ice. Use your own screwdrivers and uh, keep the ones that come with it. They're nice for display purposes, but apart from that, that's about the all. But they are useful for.
I don't actually plan on what I'm doing. I kind of just sort of go with the flow. That's why all my commentary is just random. Just, it's all raw. You know, I, I don't plan anything. I, I can't see the point. You know, you guys want a bit of entertainment, so I just go along with it. A lot of these YouTubes, everything's sort of all staged and put on. And yeah, it's kind of a bit of fun at times, but pff, who wants that? You know, I just like the raw, unedited version of it. Yes, this would have been nice with some audio, but probably at the same time, <laughs> there's a lot of swearing going on. But yeah, anyway, guys, that's it for me yapping now. You know, I could just waffle on all day, but yeah, I can't see the point. So yeah, I'll add a bit of fancy music to this and try and not get copyrighted. So yeah, catch you guys later. Bye.
Well, that's it for part one of this video. Part two will be along shortly once I've finished editing and putting together. And like I say, this is going to be split into two parts. Then obviously once they're over, we can then move on to the accessories to give this pip boy a bit of functionality. Because at the moment, it literally is just a prop replica that does, um, well, nothing. But it still looks quite cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like, please leave a like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you want to leave a comment, leave a comment. If not, don't bother. I don't mind either way. <laughs> anyway, cheers for watching. See ya.